y'all what's up i wanted to come and make a video about cheating because men and women um cheat for different reasons and i guess you can somewhat say cheat differently and but also i don't believe that men are aware of the effect that cheating has on women so anyway the inspiration for this video oh make sure you subscribe um so anyway the inspiration for this video came from um previous videos that i have done like i did one about Melanie and Martel Hart from Huntsville Love and Marriage and then I also made a video about Joe Button and Santana and Tahiri and Santana at the current time was stating that Joe Button was doing something inappropriate in the realm of cheating I guess you could say but also because of comments that I received from the video so I wanted to come and make a video about cheating and how it impacts women that I don't think men quite understand because men they cheat under the mindset of usually just something to do um, just for their own personal enjoyment and selfishness where women normally cheat out of lack of attention lack of um, love from the relationship so when women cheat it is directly in response to not being happy in their relationship when men cheat it normally is directly in response to them just being selfish and wanting another notch under their belt because from what I've heard over the years that men state about cheating is they are happy and fulfilled with what they have at home it literally has nothing to do with the woman that they're with it's just like oh I just wanted, she looked it good or she was throwing it at me and I just wanted to get in that, get another notch in my belt where to them no love or emotion is connected to the actual act of having sex, which is why they feel it is okay for them to go out and do it. Well, as women, especially younger women, don't really comprehend or understand that we normally, when we're cheated on, look at it as something must be wrong he must not um, be happy he must not be fulfilled when because that's how we look at it when we cheat is because something is wrong we're not happy we're not fulfilled and men don't see like that so they see us behaving a certain way and just look at it like okay right of course cheating is wrong but she's just crazy and they don't really get it so i wanted to come and break down why cheating is such a big deal for us women so I have been cheated on before and it literally broke my heart i was devastated because i looked at it like oh well if you weren't happy then you should have just broke up with me you should have just left me you didn't have to go and cheat um i found out months later that i was actually being cheated on after he had already done it and was done with it so that also made me look at it like wow i thought you know we was in this happy relationship we we're together all the time like how did you even find time to cheat <laughs> you know um and i looked at it as how many other times had this taken place that i did not know about because this was way after the fact and i just now found out about this how many other of these women were there you know so it began to make me i had seeing who the woman was how she looked and everything so it began to make me insecure like oh well that's what he likes that's what he's attracted to because the young lady she didn't look anything like me so i'm like okay so maybe he's not attracted to me you know me and her look nothing alike um as i would be out and i would see different women that was a resemblance of this woman like it, it had me going crazy like i would just be sizing women up like oh he probably would cheat with her like he probably would like her that's probably his type um i began to feel like the love that i thought that we had that was there was all fake like okay he's just been pretending all this time and then it even made it hard to be intimate and have sex with him because um, I didn't feel enough, you know, it really took a blow to my self-esteem. Um, I would think like, oh, I wonder is he, you know, kissing, touching, and doing these things with her. Was this what he was, you know, doing to her? Um, do he wish I was her right now? Like, is he thinking about someone else right now? Um, so it made me not really that... I couldn't enjoy sex the same way because that's just all that would be running through my head was was he saying these things to her doing these things to her 
Um, do he, is he thinking about her right now? Do he wish he was with her right now? You know, so it just really messed me up. Because um, he had explained through our conversation about the cheating when I found out is that, you know, it was old news. Of course, he didn't want to be with her. Um, it just happened with something to do. Um, she knew I had a woman, so she just wanted you to find out because she mad. She thought I was going to be with her, like all, this, all that kind of stuff. And I just could not wrap my mind around it. And it really just ate at me and made me miserable. Because now, you know, I don't trust this person. Now I'm insecure. I'm doubting everything. And, of course, that made me to lash out at him and even other women. Like I said, I became very insecure um, seeing or being around women that I felt might would be attracted to that he would might be attracted to and would possibly cheat with if he had the opportunity and stuff after I had got back with him. So it just had, that's the other thing. Women, if you cannot get past it, it's best to not even go back into that relationship because it's not going to be healthy. It's um, your, your own mental and emotional um, health will be greatly affected. So it took a long time for me to get back into being myself and having a confidence that I once had. And to realize that right when men cheat, it very seldomly has anything to do with the woman. Don't take that upon yourself to think like, oh, I'm less than, I'm not good enough. Or, um, or um, he doesn't want me or isn't a, a, attracted to me. Because most of the time, that's not what it is. He's very attracted to you. He still wants you. He's just selfish and wants his cake to eat on the side too. Um, they rationalize it and justify it in their own mind as in, oh, well, this is just something I'm just doing. It doesn't mean anything, so it's okay. Um, even though they would never accept or feel that way if we or when we do that to them because they actually end up feeling the exact same way that we feel as far as the insecurities, the doubts, and the feeling of betrayal because it is a feeling of a betrayal and it does make you question everything. But... I moved on from that now, thank God. God really helped um, build my self-esteem back up and give me an understanding. And this is the thing to me that women don't necessarily talk about um, specifically to the man in um, a more broken down sense. Or that we talk about in helping each other get through things. Because when I was going through this situation with being cheated on... And other women, the the things that we talked about and the advice that they gave really wasn't like, oh, you know, like you're good enough. No, don't doubt yourself. Don't think that, oh, these women are better than you or that something is wrong with you just because he chose to do that. The advice I was getting was more along the lines of um, break his pockets even more. Because a, a broke man that ain't got time or money to cheat, you know, keep him busy. You know, I was getting more so advice than that when the advice that I really needed was advice on what I was allowing it to do to me and my own self-esteem of who I was as a, as a woman and how valuable I was. So, I just want you men to know and realize and understand that when you cheat on a woman, it uh, the reason why we act crazy... Is because it is a betrayal, you know. It is something that you would not like or want to be done to you. And thirdly, it affects us mentally, emotionally, our security. It affects um, our, um, what would be the term? Our self-esteem. I still can't find a word, so I'm just about to pass over what I was trying to say. Um, but it affects our self-esteem and who we are and our validation. Um, it affects us trusting and believing in you and our relationship. The foundation that we thought we had with you and the bond we thought we had with you. It literally breaks and tear or tear down all these layers. You know, so, right, one of the other things that went through my head was like, okay, well, if he cheated on me, then he must not be happy. He must not really want to be with me. But it also made me think, okay, well then, that means he's going to leave me. You know what I'm saying? He's going to find a woman and leave me for this woman and stuff. So it just chips away at everything. And then you men 
don't like to take accountability for it and deal with the devastation and chaos that you created. Now you have a problem with the fact that, right, she doesn't trust or believe what you have said to her because your actions of betrayal had just made all that seem a lie. All them times that you told her how beautiful she was, now she is second-guessing that. All those times you told her, oh, you are the woman of my dreams, she's second-guessing that. All those times you told her, oh, we're going to get married, we're going to have this long, happy life together, all I need and want is you. You have literally, by cheating, just wiped all that out and... And it's like, no, okay, just like all those laughs y'all had together, all those intimate, beautiful moments y'all had together have now just been picked apart by you doing that. And then y'all don't understand why we now feel like, okay, the whole relationship was a liar, that we can't trust or believe anything you say or why we're insecure now and acting out. And then you're not man enough to even deal with it as we try to heal and work ourselves through that if the woman chooses to stay with you. Instead, you're getting frustrated and upset that it's three months later, four months later, five months later, and she is still not in a place of trusting you or feeling whole again in a relationship. And that's because that five or ten or a year, however long it was that y'all built, all of that was just wiped away by your selfish, lustful act of not showing self-control to say, you know what? Yeah, sex doesn't mean anything to me with this woman. This would just be me knocking something down. But I know with my woman, this would greatly hurt her. So I'm not about to do that. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Because, of course, we know and we realize that there are only two sexes in the world, male and female. So, of course, you would <laughs> run into women, attractive, beautiful women, uh, ones who may even be hitting on you or that you may want to hit on every single day. But it is for you to have self-control, enough respect for your relationship, enough um, love for your woman to say, I'm not even about to risk it. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm all the way over here. She probably would never... Because y'all be thinking, oh, sh this is something I can get away with. I think a lot of times y'all men do it because you think like, oh, I can hide this. I'll be able to get away with this without, without ever getting caught. And it never, it very seldomly ends like that. Eventually, in some way, some form, it comes to the light that you're out here being dirty, being an old, dirty bastard. So, you guys, I heard this one man say, he says, um, it's not that I've never thought about cheating before. He said, it's just that I love my woman much more that I would never want to hurt her or cause her that pain, which was just so sweet to me. Like, okay, I can work with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to come to the realization that, yes, it's going to be other women that my man will find attractive. But I want to be with the type of man who's not going to act on that because he valued me much more than he valued you just getting a nut, especially if I'm giving him a nut. Because that was another problem um, that I had that – I had an issue with it was like sexually we were not lacking I was not one of those oh I'm too tired we only having sex at once a week like no like we were getting down so that was the like I said the other reason why it was a such a big blow to me um that he had done that because I was just looking all across the board like why what would be the reason other than you must not want to be with me and he played Employed of how no that is by far not the case but your actions are supposed to line up with what you're saying and if you have committed this act that shows or tells me something totally different than what you're saying out of your mouth so I just want you men to realize you need to have a bit more self-control and if you have made that mistake and your woman is still giving you um, problems because of it, deal with it. Sit in it and deal with it. It's the mess that you created. You have broken her trust and you basically not just even starting from scratch. You're starting even below scratch once um, this time because you have dismantled the love, the trust, the bond um, that she thought y'all had. You have dismantled her belief in your attraction or devotion to her and you have to sit in that and deal with it. Do with it. Do your best, everything that you can, to build back up her self-esteem and her trust 
in you and your relationship and what y'all have. Women who are who have been cheated on and you decided you wanted to try to stay with him, or even women who was cheated on and you left, just know it has nothing to do with you. You are not less than. You are beautiful. You are valuable. You are great. You are um, worth faithfulness and devotion. Stop looking at yourself, comparing yourself to other women or that woman feeling like you don't measure up because that's not true. You are great in your own right. You are beautiful and you deserve the best. And men don't view sex the same way that we do. They view they could go and have sex with a woman and not think twice of, about her the next day. You know, like I said, that with, when my ex had cheated on me with that girl, I found out about... Five months after the fact, and I found out because the girl, um, like he said, knew that we were together. And she wanted to make sure that I found out. And my whole thing to her was, well, you knew that he was with me and you didn't care. You wasn't trying to tell me that you was trying to hook up with him then. So don't come trying to make sure that I know that y'all did hook up. Now that, right, he is no longer being interactive with you. So... That's just what I want to let y'all women know, especially young women who are not really mentally or emotionally prepared for a relationship, but you're in love and you have these feelings, but don't necessarily know how to handle them and navigate through love and heartbreak and betrayal. Never look at yourself as not being good enough or never look at it as you have to do something more or to get a man or to keep a man. Be you because you and who you are is worth everything that you want in a relationship. You and who you are is beautiful and desirable and sometimes men are jerks. And even if a man is not interested in carrying on a relationship with you, it does not take away from who you are. That just means it wasn't a fit for y'all two together. You know, so let's take care of our mental and emotional health. And women, please help in better walk, young women, especially through heartbreak and betrayal. Because, like I said, the advice that I had get had gotten, which I didn't give all of it, and I kind of put it in just the simplest terms of the advice I was given, it was helpful, but it really wasn't what I needed to hear at that time of going through that betrayal and the devastation that it had caused to me. So, young women, um, never degrade yourself, disgrace yourself to try and get a man or to keep a man. You are worth being loved, minus any and all of that. Never look at yourself and think that it is something wrong with you or that you don't measure up. Just because the man who was supposed to love you and be faithful to you and value you and protect you didn't. Just because he stepped out because it is not... Anything to do with you and who you are, that's everything to do with his lack of character and his lack of self-control that caused him to go out and do that. Because sometimes you do have men, when, when they're caught, when they're caught, some men will try to blame the woman and try and pick at you and make it your fault to get themselves out the hot seat. And it is a form of manipulation of, of him trying to even more make you feel insecure to forgive him and pit up with what he did so he don't lose you. But that's not the right way he should be loving you. Um, what he should do is take accountability for his own actions. Like, you know, my ex, when I, because like I said, my whole mindset was, you must not want me, you must not be happy, let's end this, you should have just broke up with me. And he kept stating like, no, that's the, the farthest thing from the truth. So, Women, don't take those things on. And if a man do try and make you the blame for his poor actions, do not take that on or listen to that because it's not true. Now, I will say, if it was issues going on in your relationship and he had been coming speaking with you about that over a period of course of time, then maybe there is a little bit of accountability to share in, to share in that. But never think that you are not enough because you are. You just um, love and compromise because in any relationship that you have, you're going to need love. You're going to need to compromise. You're going to need to um, listen. 
you know, and things of that sort. So you make sure that you're doing that. And if you are crossing the checks off on what a healthy relationship requires and specifically what your relationship needs or your man needs to be happy, do not allow him to point the blame at you and take that on as something that's wrong with you. Um... That is all. That's all I wanted to say. Men, do better. Have self-control and realize what you're actually doing when you cheat on your woman. You know, you are really attacking your relationship and bond. You're breaking it all down because now it pits everything under a microscope of, was this entire relationship a lie? Was everything he's ever told me a lie? Um... Was the love, any of it, real? Because I, I, that kept playing through my own mind going through it. And it does make a woman a bit insecure. She does not trust you or trust your love and intentions for her once you've done that. That's all. Bye.